The market was expecting the U.S. Federal Reserve to move on interest rates in December. But now traders believe that the Fed won't budge before March 2016, and here's why. The quite dovish June FOMC meeting is partly the reason why we see markets pricing in a later rate hike. And that was followed up by the minutes from that meeting, which had the same dovish tone. Uh, first and foremost, it's important uh, to note that uh, many of the participants said that the criteria for hiking rates were still not fulfilled. Some did, but most didn't. Uh, in addition to that, they stressed the uh, volatilities that we are seeing in international markets. Of course, primarily Greece and China. Uh, those things are also being watched uh, by the FOMC members. Um, an interesting, uh, perhaps more hawkish uh, part of the minutes, however, was the focus on inflation where the participants actually said that they expect the downward pressure from the strong dollar on inflation to actually fade now. And also the fact that oil prices seem to have stabilized should also help inflation start to pick up again. But if you ask the economist, they still believe that a rate hike this year is possible. Just like last year, we also this year in the first quarter saw a negative growth print, um, which has been dampening expectations for full year growth, of course. Uh, but I expect a solid re uh, rebound in growth in Q2, also like we saw last year. We still have some issues with the seasonal factors relating to Q1, um, but if we look ahead, there are still some solid drivers for the U.S. economy, so there's no reason to be that negative about the U.S. economy. Uh, we have still a, or we have the fading effect from the U.S. dollar. We have low energy prices, which is helping households' uh, purchasing power. And we have to remember that even though the latest job report was a bit weaker than expected, the U.S. economy is generating more than 200,000 jobs per month. So we are seeing wage growth and more and more people getting jobs. So domestic demand should fuel the U.S. economy and we'll see a strong second half print in terms of growth, just like we saw last year. And therefore, I think that December will come back as the primary uh, target for the first rate hike. So, how will all of this impact Euro-Dollar? We did see uh, the dollar weaken a little bit, uh, around 0.2% uh, yesterday on the release of the FMC minutes. But overall, and overall I think that we could see the dollar weaken even further, in particular against the Euro. There's a lot of bearish sentiment built in about the Euro, of course, relating to uh, discussions about Greece. So that's also a factor. And um, when we get back to uh, the negotiation table for Greece, I still think a deal is the uh, likely outcome, then that in itself could move euro dollar higher. Um, and then if we still continue to see not strong enough data for the US, that could also keep a lid on dollar strength. So euro dollar could actually surprise a lot of um, market participants by moving higher from here, not lower.